All right, quick video to show you how to operate the pumps at the Clean Energy. This is for CNG. Now this is the big one. They have a smaller one. Works pretty much the same. It's just a matter of which one you need. On my vehicle, I have two different ones. I have the small one, which is like used for cars. Plus, I have the bigger outlet. So we'll be using this one today. As you saw, I just do that as a twist and lock. Similar to like a medicine bottle. So it twists to unlock. And you can see the little grooves inside of there to set that up. In case you're not familiar with it. Real simple though. Basically, you're going to grab your unit. You're going to have this little handle on the side. That's going to be like a release and trigger handle, okay? So, when I put that into position, I turn it opposite. See here, that flow is going up. And as you see the action here, pulls that back. That allows it to mount properly in place. You mount it completely in place. Once it's in place, then you do the handle to lock it in place. When you lock it, most of the time you will hear that when you go with the flow. So see here, it has the flow continuing through. Once you're set up with that, then you'll go ahead, you'll insert your card. Most of the time you're gonna put down your mileage and your driver ID or something similar to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide my card in and out real quick. My truck today has a lot of miles. You gotta enter that. And then your driver ID number, if that's something that you do. Otherwise, you can uh, just enter OK when done if that's not something that's part of yours. Then, it's gonna take a moment, it's gonna think about it, ask you if you wanna receive, sure. The remove nozzle before fueling. So you can do all of this stuff before you connect it, but I like to connect it ahead of time. And then that way, once it's ready and set up, all you're doing here is lifting that up. And then it'll go through its process and begin fueling. When you're done with it, it's pretty much the reverse action. You'll make sure that this is stopped. Press this down first to deactivate the sending. Then you'll get over to it. Turn this all the way around so that you can release it and place it back on the hook and put the cap on. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so it's almost full. Usually it'll start cycling. Which is really noisy sometimes. That's kind of normal main reason why I say that's normal is because I hear that a lot, but it doesn't seem to be any serious issue. You can hear it slowing down. You can see it slowing down. And it is done. Checking my gauge, it is definitely a little bit more than full, so that's perfect. So now at this point, first you want to disengage the sending. Now you want to come over here, slowly release. And this is easy part, this is no big deal. You're going to slowly go to the next level so that you don't have a bunch of pressure popping this hose off at you. So you'll hear it, you hear that. Once you release it, just simply pull it off, hang it back on the bracket. And you're pretty much set. If it has a receipt, it'll print out a receipt and you're pretty much done with the pump part. Go back to your tank, Let's put your cap back on. Most vehicles will have a safety so that if you forget to put that on, it'll not let you start the vehicle. So that was real easy. It just lines up the pins, which I know for me, it turns this way and then it sinks into it. Now I know the pins are lined up and then it's locked. Easy enough, and that's how you fill at a clean energy station.